Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a moment this evening to relax. I was going to pull out my tile laying game, but I was like, no, no, that's unfair to TM. We got we to gotta go back and forth. We've just been burned, <laughs> burned on Helion. <laughs> so let's try something different here. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we go all in on that card draw, a little bit of production, a little bit of... I don't mind the polar industries, but I got to know. I got to know. Is there something... Something here that's going good here. A lot of titanium related things. The bone hole area is interesting. I could go for this. I could go for this. I wish I had Thorgate though, because then I get this energy tag going. Even micro mills isn't too bad. We get a discount on science. I gotta grab the, the points for Jovians, right? Industrial Center isn't actually bad either. Usually pays mostly for itself with what you can pick up. I mean, now we're just grabbing way too many cards, but... I like them. So, we're also maybe going to get a loan. I think that a loan would probably be one of our better cards. That or... Um, oh, crappy and kind of crappy, honestly. Now we're going to get a new thing. Oh... Uh, Here's the energy tag I wanted and needed. And it comes with some steel, which I think is pretty powerful. But the titanium is also really good. Because I wanted to use the titanium to get at this bad boy. But without a Jovian tag... What do I do with the steel? Six, six, that's 18. Eight. So with the titanium, I could get Saletta. Like, that's not, that's not that good. It just is good. It's just not that good. Oh, this is a hard choice. I think I want the energy. Because the energy basically is the heat, right? His, the heat production, rather. Um, so I can easily do this for two steel and get two steel back. It's just the question of, oh, we have all this titanium that we're not even going to use on turn one. Crap. Let's do that. Do I grab more titanium? I mean, the fact that I could get to Deimos down is, is kind of amazing. But no, I think we got a mole hole area. And I mean, maybe we go for titanium again. Okay, I'm actually into that because with nine titanium, we're like at like 30 something dollars. And then we buy another little heat production because I couldn't buy this steel production. But we're, we're interested in that steel production for sure. Maybe we just get the Saleta and call it a day, right? On a lot of things. Ooh, mining rights. Okay, so this is this is all good for us. Never mind. I guess we are are pressing forward here on some good stuff. I really wanted that. Um, I guess we will Saleta next turn. All mining rights for a titanium, and then we have to like not do anything that isn't. Uh, actively like winning us the game here yeah we're gonna start getting heat bumps pretty quickly though with the 12 titanium and saletta i mean we just don't have much income but we have a lot of cards that we've built up already so let's uh yeah let's just move on we don't need any of this saletta i think we gotta it's the only thing that makes sense for the titanium we have other than deimos down we can media group into deimos that's fine but it's not actually going to get us what we need to be doing so do i overspend yeah i actually am going to overspend because everything else is so um it's so far away right now so we're going to buy some production because like Deimos down and Ammonia, like all of these are like twenty-five or thirty dollar, like they're all in the twenties or thirties, which means that an extra dollar worth of titanium, if we, it just wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth saving as far as I'm concerned. We have two heap ups lined up. 
We have so much heat production, I probably don't even have to do Deimos down. Um, we didn't get an energy tag, though, sadly. This is what I was really hoping for. I guess we grabbed the science tags because we have discounts on them. It's, like, honestly a good enough reason for most things, right? We're going to have two heat pumps next turn as well. That's quite interesting. How many building tags do I even have? I still think it might be worth buying it. Three income? Or, sorry, no, no, I only had three tags. So four income, or... Sorry, four divided by two is two income. I'll spend some steel to get some income. And then I'll buy another income. So now we have a bunch of metals, a decent little bit of cash, but the heat income is going to propel our TR to the top of the track very quickly. Like, we're basically getting two heat bumps around, right? It feels like. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the energy tag. I don't even need the energy anymore. I don't need this heat, but I could use Miranda for that. Um, I really wish I'd used, I would used took Helion. It's just such a better company, and oh my god. Uh, so we'll do Media Group to get the thing, the second Earth tag, and then we'll do Miranda Resort to get a little bit of energy, and that gets us a tag of the Jovian. Which is honestly, like, I don't even know. Like, even if I could buy Beam from a Solar, I doubt we need it. Especially after I do this for an energy income. And then I'm still going to buy this energy income. Because it's just efficient. It's so good. Uh, I guess I could have bought a Steel income. Well, alright, never mind. It wasn't efficient. It was bad. Because I don't need that energy. I generally, 20... If this all goes to heat, it's 20 heat production per turn. It's a lot. It's a lot and I could make it more but look at all this heat like I should have played Helion this would have been an insane run for Helion I should really check the code and do it again because oh my god this is insane but what was my third prelude supplier oh, okay I don't need the heat, right? Like, let's pretend there's two heat bumps around. I have six productions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, like it's it's done. Media archives. I don't we haven't played events, right? We have a couple of bad events. Yeah, we just take Radcom here. We need the TR. We need something better to do with our time. Like all of my cards are very bad. Like Demos down, not not useful for this situation I find myself in. Aerobaked is bad. Everything's bad except for water import. But I don't have enough titanium in like production to really make it worth it. But I guess I'm gonna have to start doing it next round anyway, because just buying a steel production right now. I could buy a plant production. Okay, I'll buy a plant production because I don't need the energy. I mean, that's not necessarily true. I don't need the energy to turn into heat, but there are potentially cards I might want to buy that require energy. Ugh. And where are we going to get points in this run? Like, it's just not happening. Like, Lightning Harvest, I guess I grabbed that for a point. Ecological Zone, I don't actually have green tags. It's not a bad card, but let's, uh, let's not focus on it, because it's kind of a outside the box thing um let's get the uh the jovian points per jovians moving i guess we gotta we gotta move the needle somehow so i guess we're doing a jovian strat this game we need oxygen so badly though i'm just not getting it um what what's worth selling this aerobaked ammonia asteroid for instance is worth selling and then I'll buy one more steel income. And now we should be good for steel. Look at all this heat. We have three more heat bumps. Oh my god. I mean, at least we're going to get bushes down. Minus 18. We can't even play this. But we can get some card draw. And this is a mining expedition, which is fine. Because... For us, a mining expedition gives us a little bit of money back because we get money back on events, but you wouldn't know because I haven't played any. I know. What a mess. Freaking mess. So I have enough steel to overspend on this, so I don't need to do that mining expedition yet. 
Let's get a card. Commercial district. I want to buy an ocean like every round. I don't have a good spot for it. I guess I just keep grabbing cards. I know I could grab the plants, but honestly, the cards are more interesting to me right now. And as much as I like bushes, I think Vesta makes us more sustainable on the, uh, on Sheol, Sheol, uh, trying to buy an ocean every round. Though, I mean, our TR is what's really going to do it for us. Two more bumps, eh? Is that almost an ocean? Uh, artificial lake, AI central, yeah, I mean, we got all this stuff. Got all this steel coming in that, why not? Why not? You can't stop me. Restricted area, I mean, we're getting a lot of interesting stuff. So let's get uh, our money back from placing this ocean just in this spot here. And um, that honestly makes me want to play restricted area. So many things to do. Well, Restricted Area is only nine bucks, and it's gonna get me back six. And then I'm gonna buy a card, so. That's nice. These two cities aren't adjacent. So I have a, I have the uh, commercial district, but it's not really necessary. Uh, we have nine steel, so time to get you. And we'll draw two more cards. Hell yeah. So now we're drawing from the deck very aggressively. Which makes me happy. And we'll do one more card draw. So this gets us up to what? One, two, three, four, five card draw. And I'll grab research because, you know, you gotta win the uh, scientist award. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though, how many science tags am I at? Seven? I could anti-grav so hard. Nitrogen-rich asteroid. That should be possible. Like, I need some plant tags, obviously, but... It shouldn't be out of the realm of possibility. Bribe committee gets us somewhere. Points for Jovian gets us somewhere. Ocean. How many oceans? We have three, four... One, two, three. So we need more ocean, right? We have three more clicks of our water imports. That gets us to six. This gets us to seven, eight, and then nine is artificial lake. Okay. It sucks to buy three cards, though, and then immediately buy, like, five more cards. <laughs> like, we have 17 cards in hand. This is insane. Why did I grab research? Well, because I have a discount on it twice. That's why. Space elevator. Steelworks is what we needed, but now we don't have enough energy production. And I'm not buying that. Okay. Okay. So, heat bump. We got to start building out oceans that make sense. Eh, or we could just try and go down this path, but... A lot of plants here. Yeah, let's just try and greenery our way over to here, I think. It's weird, but we can do it. Oh, we have artificial lake. That makes me want to put it here. So this will all be laked. Okay. Hmm. I'm doing this every round, so let's go ahead and do that one here. I need more energy production if I'm going to draw or use steelworks. I guess it's not going to happen. Space elevator is not going to make us enough money back, right? We're going to sell steel five, three times for 15 bucks, but that's only a $3 increase of value. So it's only, oh, it's only nine bucks back and then you get $9 worth of titanium. So you get like 18 bucks. It's, it's just not worth it. No more energy. How do I not have enough energy production, right? I had so much. Or at least I had a bunch of steel. So let's uh let's get our energy production up. Let's do our mining. This gets us a rebate. So let's do that first. 
if I do the steel on the artificial lake now, I can go put that here. Which is where I know I want it. And now I'm so close to being able to get two greeneries in the places that I want them. Oh, permafrost extraction. Easy. So there we go. And I'm just going to green wheel my, my way down. So we're getting rebates right now, which is great. Speaking of which, we'll bribe committee. 41 TR. Not bad. We'll go to 42. Um, but we do lack a lot of TR in the department. Of, I'm actually going to go this way so I can build the city there, right? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just lacking in a lot of ways. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'm having a hard time articulating tonight, it feels like. Like, we, we have all this this heat, but what about the oxygen? I guess we have the oceans too, though, so we can't ki kick ourselves too hard. I need to... I can get research. Draw some cards. We have points per Jovian stacking up as well, right? We've got to remember that. Ice Asteroid. Well, that's probably still cheaper than clicking our button two more times. So, that works out. Because clicking the button twice is 12 bucks. Twice, so 24. Whereas Ice Asteroid is only 23, so you get a dollar off. Which, notably, you would get if you just sold the card. But you actually get the money back as well. So so it's better. Okay. And then we're going to have all the heat bumps we need like next turn, right? Uh, not quite. We're going to need a short one. But that doesn't matter. And then we'll get two oxygen bumps from our energy being high enough. We're going to draw a million cards. We're still at 15 cards. And we actually played a lot of cards that round. We just didn't get enough... Uh, like green tags that would have actually benefited so ice cap melting is actually a better event for us i think because all of a sudden like we get the three bucks back so it's a five dollar ocean at that point we may as well build the ocean for cheaper um instead of playing that card insects though do we want insects i mean it's only going to produce one plant for nine dollars so it seems bad but like what if i got more i just don't have green tags so let's draw a bunch of cards and figure out where we are. We have to see the, our, our options, and then we can decide what to do. Inert gas, I'll buy that. Um, Yo, mass converter. That's a discount on space. Which is worth it. I don't know how it's worth it, but I, I know that it is because I it's only like six bucks to buy it. So even if I just buy a couple of points cards like my Ganymede Colony and my Trans Neptune, I'm good. It's still better to get TR and stuff this way. I mean, obviously this is a no brainer. You spend two titanium to get two titanium back and for the dollar difference, you get an energy production. I need to buy the steelworks and then I can sell or use the energy for that I think we get our last two oh, I think I have to do the business here don't need this I do like this stuff. I mean here's our cheap city I don't know if space stations ever gonna be worthwhile but it has a point on it and the other ones don't so I guess I could have still done towing a comet instead of uh, instead of the other thing, but arguably it's just not that much better. Forty-seven. We need a lot of TR. At least there's TR and nitrogen rich asteroid. I guess but that's two TR for how much? Like thirty bucks? Like not worth. Um. All right. We'll spend two bucks on a titanium to get three or two titanium. So that's good. Let's get our oceans down. I want the open city, but I'm realizing now that I chose the open city despite the fact that we don't have, um, uh, we just don't have it. Like we don't have the oxygen at all. <laughs> Someone in the comments probably knows, hey, Trans Neptune for free. 
Um, gotta take the investment loan. I might just buy greeneries, right? Like, if I buy a greenery for 23, I get six bucks back because of the pocket and the two greens, so that our plants, and then I put it here for eight bucks back, and that just feels delightful. And I'm back up on my cash money. I don't need robotic workforce. I don't think there's anything I could copy that I would need. Like, metal production is not going to be worth the nine bucks for it. I don't need energy in any way. I don't need heat in any way. Um, lots of lots of fine cards, but honestly, they're not fine. They're bad. So we should go through and cull what we have. I mean, a points per Jovian is a maybe. But a lot of these are just, like, unplayably bad. If we get uh, Mars University and can cycle, then maybe there will be something to be said. But I think I just buy a greenery. And we may as well grab the two plants here. I mean, eventually I want a greenery there. A little bit more money, but I feel like the plants are, are pretty good. And then, yeah, 52 TR. Can we get 11 TR next generation? It seems not too bad, but we have actually already done all the oceans and all the heat, basically. So it's all oh, standard technology. Thank God. And all this stuff is really good, but I don't think it actually works for me. I think I need to buy TR, like a madman. Because there's only like four TR here. Yeah, I, I can't. Like, I really want to buy a lot of those cars. They're really cheap points, really cost-effective. But I don't have faith in my ability to even end this game with a win. Lake Marineris, that's just, like, a real sad grab or sad find. Really would have hoped for, for that beforehand. <laughs> all right, there's all the heat bumps. Crap. And I mean, even herbivores, you're like, maybe, but it's like, no, you need to, you need to get TR. Like, I have no money. <laughs> like, that's, that's not good. I'm going to get this because I have nine steel. So I think it's worthwhile to buy the open city. Oh, but I can't because of the same reason I just talked about. I need to get up to 11, 12 percent. Como estas? How am I going to do that? There's a little bit of adjacency up here, I guess. What the frig? What the? Do I just grab a card? Like, I'm pretty lost. Like, I don't see how there's a way out for me here. Because I can't get the open city. It's just not going to happen. Which is devastating in a lot of ways. Because I thought I was going to be able to... Get some points. I guess we just lose, right? Like, there's just no... There's just no way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. Even with 10 more dollars, I buy, what, one greenery... Oh. One greenery and then the open city. Now, here's the thing. Selling everything to get one greenery and an open city gets me a TR, a greenery, and then a five-point city on top of one point. So that's one, two, three, five more. It makes eight. Is that better It's almost certainly not better. I can get four points here with this Ganymede colony, two more points here, and a point there. That's like, oh, it's, I guess it's only seven. But to do open city, do I need to, what, what's wrong here? Why am I losing? I should have been freaking Helion. 
to the, to a degree. Well, I have two TR here. Wait a second. No, there's just, there's just no way. Like, I don't even know what the question is. Like, what, what could there possibly be a way to do? I'm like, there's nothing. If anything, I could potentially sell both of these and get both of these ones played. Because with $12, I could maybe get 4 bucks back somewhere. With the city placement. With the, um, okay. I'm just going to grab the points I can get. Because there's no way. There's Is there a way for me to get 23 TR? Like, if I play you, I have... 15 I have six bucks left plus the rebate for three and it only gives me two So I'd have nine dollars and there's no way nine dollars even with standard tech can buy me enough buffer gas Okay, so let's let's just get what we can let's stop putting everyone through the exhausting pain of watching this we buy a greenery We're gonna be getting three dollars back but we need to maximize how much we get back for the open city. The open city does come with two plants. So two plants, three plants, not enough plants. We go here for the money. We get three bucks back for reasons. We buy the open city. We place the open city here for five points. And then I play a points per Jovian, which is actually worth five points because I have another points per Jovian already played. And then we lose the game at 60 TR. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. I kind of racked my brain here more than I wanted to, but I have 40 heat left over. Shoulda, woulda, coulda played Helion, but I chose not to because we recently did it. I mean, like... Can I try healing on now? <laughs> hey, 16 points on cards, 60 TR, 5 point city. Ah, you know, you can't win them all. This is like it, the insanity of like, had I played Helion though, and all those cards for like the one heat, one energy becomes three heat production, one energy becomes four heat production. These cards provide three energy and three heat. I think that this could have been like a massive Helion scoring game, especially if you knew that you had all of those ocean cards coming late, right? Like the Lake Marineris, the Comet, Large Comet or whatever, Comet, um, the... Excuse me. Yeah, whatever. There, there, there was another one. It was like a there was the oxygen comet, and then there was the ice comet, and then there was the ice or the ocean events. Anyway, it's all wild. And then you could still play Deimos down because you do the heat bumps, but then you could use that money, the the leftover heat as money, so it's still more cost effective. I'm sorry, I'm a crazy person. Also, you get all those science cards, all that card draw, and then you get more discount on space at the very end. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, guys. I sure have, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.